just a day before his documentary The Sum of It All Hits Disney+, Plus, it has been revealed that music megastar Ed Sheeran, 32, is in mourning for his beloved grandmother who passed away last Tuesday. Anne Mary Sharon, known to many as Nancy, died peacefully at Castle Gardens Nursing Home in Enniscorthy last Tuesday. In a posting on obituary site R.I.P. E. and was described as beloved wife of the late Bill and loving mother of Jim, Bill, Peter, Chris, John, Marianne, Bridget and the late Sally and sister of the late Thomas, Jim, May, and Peggy. The death notice continued, deeply regretted by her loving sons, daughters, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, sons-in-law, daughters-in-law, niece, nephews, relatives, friends and neighbors. People have been encouraged to leave messages of sympathy and the online book of condolences attached to the posting. Anne, who was Ed's paternal grandmother, inspired the song Nancy Mulligan on his 2017 album Divide. The track described the romance between her, and his late grandfather William, who got married despite being from different religions, which was hugely stigmatized in Ireland at that time. Speaking about the track, Ed said, My grandfather is a Protestant from Belfast, and my grandmother is a Catholic from Wexford and when they got married it was like a real thing. But they went against people, got married and ended up being married for 66 years before my grandfather passed away. Back in 2017, after the release of Divide, Anne was interviewed by RTE News about her famous grandson. Don't miss. Paul McCartney had terrifying forbidden room after mum died, latest, Chloe Madeley gutted by having to live with parents after giving birth, latest, Bill Nye and Anna Winder make loved up appearance at Met Gala, latest, the then 92-year-old praised Ed for remaining as down-to-earth as ever despite his massive success. She said, I'll never think of him as being famous, I have to say. He is exactly the same as he always is when he visits. And it's very rare because he's always working and when you think he was working from the age of 14, you'd have to feel sorry for him, you know he's so tired, but he loved it. Anne and her late husband William raised eight children and had 23 grandchildren. Her funeral will take place on Wednesday after an 11 a.m. funeral mass in St. Patrick's Church, Monaseed, Gory. It is not known yet if Ed will be able to attend as he is currently in New York for a copyright trial in which he is accused of ripping off the Marvin Gaye classic Let's Get It On. He strongly denies allegations that his hit song Thinking Out Loud has borrowed from the soul classic. He was called to testify in the civil trial by the heirs of Ed Townsend, Gay's co-writer on the 1973 song. The family has accused the English star of violating their copyright, claiming his 2014 hit bore striking similarities and overt common elements to the famed Gay track. Last week he played the song in question thinking out loud to the court in an effort to convince them he had not lifted parts of the 1973 hit song.